everybody. Look at this thing. Hello, Aubrey. While we look at this flower, perfect time to answer your question. You say you've always wanted to do a tour in Africa, um, but is it dangerous? Aubrey, I don't have a death wish. Do you, Brian? No. Brian doesn't have a death wish. Herbert doesn't have a death wish. Brent doesn't, and nor does Jamie. Her, Aubrey, the reason I say that, and I'm being a little bit flippant with you, is that it's completely safe. Obviously, it depends where you go. If you go on a tour in downtown Lagos, Nigeria, without any idea of where you are, then yes, probably it could be dangerous. But to come on safari in South Africa or East Africa, Zimbabwe, Zambia, Namibia, um, obviously South Africa, Tanzania, Kenya, Uganda, Rwanda, just beautiful, beautiful places. You can't believe how stunning these places are. It's perfectly safe. They're set up for tourism, and much of the livelihood of the, their economies is derived from ecotourism. So it's perfectly safe, Aubrey, and you really shouldn't worry about the safety. And that goes for anybody who's thinking about coming to Africa. It's a good safe, it's safe from a human point of view, and it's safe from an animal point of view. Of course, you'll go on safari with a guide who knows what he's doing with any luck, and so you will be kept safe by someone like that, but mostly you'll get in touch with, well, possibly the world's oldest landscape, and it'll be a great experience. So please don't worry about um, the safety. Just get online, and you'll find hundreds of very reputable tour operators who'll bring you to very safe parts of our brilliant country and continent. Now, this plant is part of the Kalenko family, or Chalinchoe, some people call it. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce it correctly. And I think these are the seeds. I think this thing's flowered already. And I think the seeds are inside here. They come up out of the ground with an astonishing speed. I mean, that thing would have grown from its bulb. It's on a big bulb under the ground. It would have grown into this plant probably in about half a day. Yeah, I know that actually hasn't bloomed yet. So if we look inside here, you can see there that I've opened up the flower that hasn't, isn't quite ready to open. And if you look in there, you might just be able to see the male plants. Can you see it all? The discolored or copper colored things are the male parts of the plant. And then the female plant parts just inside that. So that's Kalenkoe or Chalinchoe or Kalenko. I quite like Kalenko. I think it's a bit easier to say. On we go.